Every week that goes by in the transfer window, so much happens in terms of transfer links, transfer rumours, incomings and outgoings across Scottish football. I understand that there can be a lot of noise around this time of year and in today's video I'm going to round up all of the Rangers transfer action across the last couple of days. If this is something you enjoy, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Scottish football content. As for incomings, the Jers have already announced their first signing of the window, that being James Sands from New York City. I'm not going to spend so much time on this transfer, as if you are a Rangers fan, you will already know all about this. In terms of incomings on the horizon, there is a slight development in the Danilo Doakai story. Doakai is a 23-year-old centre-back that currently plays for Eredivisie's side, Vitesse. Doakai is rumoured to be Connor Goldson's replacement, and like Goldson, it seems as though Doakai is running down his contract at his current club. That means Rangers are able to offer the Vitesse skipper a pre-contract at the look of him joining the club for free in the summer. Again, this rumour has been going around most of the window, so I'm sure a lot of you will already know. But the development in this story is that Rangers could look to strike a deal now, as there is interest from other clubs, such as PSV Hindhoven and Atalanta. Vitesse have slapped a £2 million price tag on the defender, but I personally think the decision will lay in Doakai's hands and he'll weigh up his options later in the season and leave the club on a free transfer at the club of his choice. Another centre-back that is going into the last six months of his contract is John Suter. And since his decision in not signing a new deal with Hearts, he has been linked with a move to Rangers. A handful of English Championship clubs are also said to be interested in Suter. Those include Sheffield United, Blackburn Rovers, Stoke City, Swansea City, Cardiff City and Nottingham Forest. However, it is being reported that Rangers want to ramp up negotiations with Suter this week and try and land the Hearts star now, with Suter's preferred choice being the Scottish champions. As you can see, Rangers are actively looking to find a replacement for outgoing centre-back Connor Goldson, but another position that Rangers may need to look for a replacement for is in goal. Both Alan McGregor and John McLaughlin's contracts expire at the end of the season and at the time of recording it is not yet known what their fates are. There is a lot of talk that Alan McGregor could retire at the end of the season and John McLaughlin could go on to a different club at the site of more first team football. If both keepers leave then that will leave the Jers looking for a new goalkeeper and reports suggest this morning that the search has already begun as it seems Rangers are going to offer a pre-contract for Benjamin Segrist. Segrist has impressed in Scottish football since his arrival back in 2018 and is now supposedly a wanted man across the globe at the expiry of his contract with Rangers being one of those teams. Lastly, in terms of incomings, this week, the Scottish champions have been linked with Colombian forward Frank Constander. Constander is a 27-year-old forward who was most recently playing for Moldovan side Shera Shrylaspor, in which he hit the headlines after playing a key role in the shock win over Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. The Colombian is now a free agent after leaving the club at the expiry of his contract. As you can see from the business that Rangers have done and with the business that they intend to do, Rangers are mainly eyeing free transfers and loan deals this January window. As for outgoings and straight to defender Jack Simpson, it is said this morning that he is close to making a loan move to Middlesbrough after being frozen out of the squad. Since Giovanni's arrival, he has opted in playing left-back Calvin Bassey in the centre-half role over Jack Simpson during Rangers' injury woes in defence. The talk of Rangers chasing Doakai and Suter just show further how his days are numbered at the club. A loan deal could be done this week for Simpson and the most likely destination is with Middlesbrough. This week, Rangers also recalled young forward Kai Kennedy after his 14 appearances with Dunfermline. Pars manager John Hughes admitted his disappointment that he wouldn't be able to continue working with him this season. It is now being reported that the 19-year-old will head back out on loan, but this time to Kilmarnock, under new manager Derek McGuinness. 
McGuinness is also interested in another Rangers youngster, that being Stephen Kelly, who has only featured twice this season for the Light Blues and zero under new manager Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. A loan deal does look likely for Kelly this month, but Kilmarnock isn't a confirmed destination, with other sides such as Tranmere sniffing around. That's all I have this week in terms of outgoings at Ibrox, and as things stand, Rangers may get through the whole of the window without losing any more big stars. As you can see, there has been a lot of talk with incomings and outgoings over the last couple of days, and what are your thoughts on all of this? Please do let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's Rangers Transfer Roundup. If you have enjoyed, make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Scottish football content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace.